Okay, gang, here's the uh, 27.09998 relic right now. Beacon that uh, I'm measuring the Game Master and the A99 right now. I've got the A99 right now. Uh, Astral plane was giving me trouble yesterday after I tried to, uh, after I raised it up and uh, put a stretch on the coax or something. I hadn't figured out what's wrong with that astral plane yet, but it started producing a lot of TBI, and so I took it down, put my A99 up. Here's the Game Master. Uh, I'm on the Game Master right now. The beacon is a little bit irregular if you can hear it. See how it's done? Typically, it gives on the game master a little, a tad over a three, no, a tad over two, right now on the uh, game master. And there is the uh, A99, a tad under the two. Game master. A99. We're both at the same approximately 33 foot 8 inches, roughly give or take a little bit, maybe an inch or two of uh, height at the base, at the base of both antennas where they're mounted to the top of the pole. The top of the pole is, uh, I measured it, was 33 foot 8 inches on both of them. Now, I think the beacon, I'm thinking the beacon is is on a timer and it rotates so that it produces signals into different quadrants and it's not, it is on, it may be a beam as a result because I'm seeing sometimes an S9 signal from it sometimes a S6 signal from it, and sometimes this S1, 2, and 3 signal from it. Sometimes I can't even hear it on one antenna. Like yesterday, I raised my astral plane up, and when I got in here, before I went out to raise it, it was giving a little bit of audio and a little bit of signal compared with the uh, two that the... Uh, Game Master was, but whenever I came back in, the astral plane wasn't showing any signal at all, and I could barely detect the uh, audio a little bit. You might have not heard it over the mic, you know, in this video, but it was there, nonetheless. I checked the astral plane out as best I could, run continuity checks on it, and I'll check it out. I uh, brought my cable into the house and put it on a dummy load, and put 100 watts into it. And it went uh, 100 watts in, uh, about 90 watts out on the game, uh, on the uh, dummy load, brother. Really. 93 watts out, I think, is what it in fact was. It's the same thing it was when I checked it. A year or two ago, and a, six weeks ago, when I first started installing these antennas up again. So I didn't do nothing to the cable. The fittings both look all right. I own them out, and they're fine. I own the antenna out, and it's fine. I can't explain it, but I will make this comment. That's the first time that I installed the Astro Plane in this new mount. I may find that the new mount is going to produce a little bit more what I call TBI, a little bit of indication on my field strength meter and a little bit of TBI in my uh, cables going to my PC speakers. I may start seeing that, although I didn't notice any when I had my Game Master mounted here next to the shelf. 
I mean, that was amazing. And when I go to put it back up there, I'm expecting it to do the same thing. And I'm thinking, too, that the beacon signal may show a little different where it is now, out by the back, about 30 feet out back, maybe 35 feet, 36 feet maybe out there. I'm not sure I remember, but it's over 30 feet. And I bring it up here closer to the shack. I expected not to show any TVI, which the Astro plane and the game and the uh, A99 seem to be showing a little bit now. The A99 is not near as bad as my Astro plane was yesterday. And like I said, that's the first time I put the Astro plane over here up close to the house. All this time, it's been for a year, maybe two years, it's been sitting out back. And I haven't been getting any nothing off of it. No signal on my gate on my fuel strength meter here in the shack and no TVI for sure. Even when I run my app, I wasn't getting any anything through my PC speakers on my computer. So there's some variables working here and I think you guys are have proven to me by insisting that I go to one mount that there is a difference between those two maps, which I never noticed this before because I didn't dissect it down to the level that I've been this time with this audio thing helping a little bit. Uh, also, I was putting, I put my shack, a new mount right, rather right outside my shack. The previous I used to have a patio deck cover on the back of my house and I used to do testing out there and it's about 15 foot, maybe 12 feet closer to the old antenna out back than it is right now. That may have been enough to make the difference that I wasn't seeing any TBI and it might have been that 12 or 15 foot might have certainly been affecting the results I was getting with my previous testing because the two antennas were that much closer together. So y'all did good in insisting that I do the uh, try to get them farther apart. Of course uh, as far as I can get them now I'm still about 30 feet from the power lines and back and I don't want to get any closer than that trying to get it further out back because the antenna just that that uh, game master I get out there right now just barely will touch the, to touch the uh, power lines if I tip it over and that's too close I don't like working that close so I prefer not to try to go far, farther back in the back to try to get more separation I think the idea is uh, best to do them the mount, do one mount. Won't be as exciting as uh, being able to switch, like switch there, switch here, switch there, switch here, switch there. Won't be as exciting as that would be seeing the results on that camera. But I don't guess y'all can guess which way I was switching when I brought a switch. What am I on? Let's take a guess. What am I on right now? What am I on right now? The Game Master's uh, going up about two and a half now. And the Astro Play, the A99 rather, is going up about one and a half. Bumping on two. Two and a half. One and a half to two. About an ace unit there. And they're both at the same height, like I said. So I've got uh, nine minutes in here, and I'm going to cut it off. Like I've said enough, I hope I said everything. This is old Grandpa, Harper's Christie, Texas, broadcasting live and in color on your two-way radio. I'm on video right now, doing my A99 versus my uh, Game Master antenna again. I believe this is going to be the last video y'all going to see out of me for a while. I'm tired. I'm... 
tired of missing with this. And I'm going to get off into something else. All right, catch y'all later.